Vivo X100 Pro camera test. 8K30, that's the maximum resolution for the smartphone, but 4K60 is the resolution which I will be recording at the moment because we can switch lenses during the recording. This is wide angle lens, video civilization. Looks awesome. We have a fantastic day. No clouds. If you only vlog from the smartphone using a wide angle lens, this is how it's going to look like. Let me stop for a bit. All right. Let's continue. Let's continue to the main lens, video stabilization. Looks very stable. Telephoto. Two X. Three point, four point three, sorry. And we switch lenses and have 10X. That's really good. We can read the license plate, which is awesome. Wow. That is looking really nice. Macro available for the wide angle lens. What does that mean? It means that we can do a macro video from wide angle, from the main lens, telephoto. Basically, all the lenses. Wow, check this out. That is crazy. Out of focus in the main lens. Quick. Very quick. Telephoto. It's also available, but a bit slower. I think I'm too close to the lens. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, recording in 4K 30 frames per second can give us switching lenses front and back during the recording which is great winning now front facing camera let me go back to 60 4k 60 much better 4k 60 no autofocus but even though i'm close to the camera it's still eh, okay it would be better if it has autofocus but still sky is it over exposing the image hard to say no no clouds. There's a little bit of clouds, but uh, sun is behind that tree. So maybe if, if I move out, move out from the camera, you see most of the smartphones wants to bright up the image, bright up the face, and yeah, it will overexpose a little bit. So there you go. But but you can see most of the environment is gray or shadows of gray. Let me show you some colors. Cinematic portrait will imitate the full frame camera with a artificial bokeh effect and yeah, it looks that way. Full length of my arm. You can also choose the main lens to do it. And it'll be really cool. Just like that. Very nice. There's a beauty mode enabled, so my face is very very weird look look at my head it is very weird there's all kinds of uh, filters and I mean all kinds of them what is that <laughs> I look very weird anyway okay, just be pop pop <laughs> oh wow this is good this is good, this is good. rainbow effect I like stars. Stars is pretty good. Style, makeup. Uh, you can smooth your skin. You can do literally insane amount of features. Insane. <laughs> oh, well, that's, I think that's one of the most advanced you know, beauty mode I've seen ever in any smartphone. There's also a Zeiss profile. 
Okay, it's not going to work when we using the filters. Oh wow! <laughs> Let's see how much zoom can we get. Probably a lot. Now that is a zoom. Wow, a hundred. That's crazy. How good this will come? Mm, not bad, not bad, not bad. This is intense. Very intense. We can do it also on the... You can spy people. You can spy on people. Wow. That's some spying stuff in it. We have a size and vivid. All kinds of colors. JPEG. This is a pro version. Raw. Super raw. Bam. Hitting super raw. So in post-production you can do all kinds of stuff. Multicam, what does that mean? It means we can connect all kinds of smartphones, or maybe not kinds, Viva smartphones. If you have two of them, three of them, then you can uh, shoot with, uh, the, uh, with them from at the same time. Yeah? So, and more and more. Wow, the amount of features is amazing. Macro movie, what does that mean? It means that we can shoot macro movie. I'm not sure what's the difference between uh, the regular mode and this. It's like no difference. At all. I don't know. It's weird. Super moon. JV lens. It will recognize the subject, AI will recognize the subject, and uh, yeah, nice. It's not the same, but similar. AI experience. So, uh, for the AI, scan your ID, set, uh, scan file, scan documents, extra text, translate, erase what? Erasing paper? Review exposure, garbage classification. That is cool. Garbage classification. What will be the classification? Okay, it's eighty-one percent. What about this card? That's seventy-seven percent. What about that building? That's eighty percent. What about me? I'm I'm eighty percent. Garbage. <laughs> All right, what else do we have? Astro, Pano, and slow motion. In slow motion, we can choose between 240 for full HD or 120 also for full HD. Well, it looks decent. I would love to see it in 4K. But of course you can do slow motion in post-production, this is just a feature in a smartphone. In the video department we do have additional function like grid, level, shake, okay. teleprompter if you wanted to, watermark and microphone. This is cool, you, you can connect the Bluetooth microphone or the uh, regular headphones. With the artificial intelligence uh, difficult photos could be better. There you go. Better. Okay, we are getting, we are having too much fun. Uh, let me show you some pictures. And pictures are stunning with this one. I think this could be one of the best smartphones for pictures. And it doesn't matter if it's wide angle, is it main lens, or is it telephoto. It doesn't matter the light conditions. It will produce extremely nice photos, even with that hardcore zoom. Very little noise. Of course, the maximum zoom will give you a little bit of um, AI, like this one. But other than that, it is stunning for photos. Like I said, maybe even the best in the market. I think it's better than Galaxy S24.
The whole video was shot in high bitrate. That's the option for you. There you go. There you go. So maximum performance. Bigger files, but who cares? We have a lot of storage in this one. And in today's price, this is like $729. For 700 bucks, you will get some insane specs for photo and video and the chip and the gaming experience. Everything is high-end in this one for 700 bucks. Now that is a bargain. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye.